Welcome to the final step of the Space Invader activity. Now we have completed all the functionalities of the game and we have completed modifying the design of the game. So you know how to build this game on your own. So in this step, you can use all the blocks here to build your very own Space Invaders game by yourself. So let's try it out. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the spaceship move left and right when I press the left and right arrow key. So I have these two when left arrow and when right arrow key press block. I'm going to drag this move spaceship right block, place it here in the when right arrow key block. Then for when left arrow key, I want the spaceship to move right. So I'm going to place the move spaceship right block, but I'm going to select from the drop down the option of left. Okay, so movement of the block, movement of the spaceship is done. Now, when the space key is pressed, I want the spaceship to fire lasers. So I have this spaceship fire lasers block. I'm going to place it in the when space key pressed. Now we have when lasers hit the aliens, right? So what happens when these lasers hit the aliens? So I'm going to say destroy the alien invaders and play the sound of hitting the aliens, right? So let's move these yellow blocks a bit down. So this is going, what is going to happen when the lasers hit the aliens. Now, when the game is running, what do we want to do? We want the aliens to keep on firing, throwing the fireballs. So alien invaders throw fireballs while the game is running. And we know that whenever these fireballs hit the spaceship, we are going to play the sound of hitting the spaceship, right? So these were the basic functionalities. Now let's add variables of score and lives. So click on the create variable button and create a variable by the name score. Let's create another variable by the name lives. Okay. So when the game starts, when the green play button is pressed, we're going to set the lives value to three. And when the game starts, we are going to set the score value to zero. Okay. Along with that, when the game starts, we want to set a background music for the game. So we can drag out this play zombie man theme in background block and select a background music option from here. So I'm going to select the Tetris theme because I like that music. So I selected the background music. I have defined the score and life's initial values. Now what can I do? I can increase the score when an alien invader is destroyed. So I'm going to use the change lives by, you see, I have this change lives by block. I'm going to place it inside the when alien, when lasers hit the alien invaders. So I'm going to place it here and I'm going to change score by not lives. So when lasers hit alien invaders, change score by one, or we can say change score by five. Okay. And then we have when fireballs hit spaceship. So when the fireballs hit the spaceship, I want the life of the spaceship to reduce. So I'm going to say when the fireball hit spaceship, change lives by minus one. Okay. So we have that done. And now we have to define what will happen when the life becomes zero. So whenever this fireball is hitting the spaceship, changing the life, we are changing the life by minus one. Anytime we change the life, we will check if the life has become less than zero. So we'll drag out this if block and place the lives block inside of it. So we say if lives is less than or equal to zero, then the game is over and we can play the game over music. All right. Now, yeah, the code is complete. I can also modify the design of the game so I can add set spaceship and select the design. I think I'm just going to change the design of the spaceship. I like the background and I don't want stars for now, so I'll keep it as it is. So the code of the step is complete and my game is complete. So now I can play the entire game by myself on this step. Let's click on the green play button and see if our code is working or not. 
So when I click on the green play button, you see, I get lives, three lives, I have score zero, the aliens are throwing fireballs, my spaceship is of the correct design, I can move the spaceship and I can fire lasers. So all I have to do is destroy the invaders by avoiding the fireballs, right? So you can now play the game as much as you want and there is a finish button once you are done playing so you can click on the finish button and you will receive your certificate. So that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.